a, approximately uh, 20 uh, experimentalists and computational scientists uh, with really diverse talents. Uh, we have expertise in the areas of biocomputation, machine learning, super resolution imaging, microbiology, cell biology, molecular biophysics. All this research from these groups is complemented by the NCSA. The mission of our center uh, is to construct 4D host cell models. And by 4D, I mean three in space, three dimensions in space, plus time that covers every aspect from metabolism to genetic information processing to cell division and growth. We want these models to reflect the cell states of real living organisms. In doing so, we have to be sure to look at the subcellular dynamics and the chemical composition of the cells at various levels of resolution in space and time. We will construct the cellular architecture using information from cryo-electron tomography and soft X-ray tomography. And this will give us information about where are the organelles, like the nucleus, the mitochondria, the vacuoles, the endoplasma reticulo, ri ribosomes. Initially, uh, we'll focus on well-studied bacteria and yeast with the long-range goal to be able to build um, models of human cells. So our goal uh, is at the end to give out our 3D models of cells and bring them to life on a computer and eventually in Minecraft. The center is also pushing the frontiers of measurement science. We have been challenged by these models to make measurements that we thought were unimaginable. So when we try to measure them, we have two major approaches. The first one is to label the cells and find them with really high precision. The second one is to record data from components in the cell, uh, molecules, small molecules, those that cannot be labeled. And there we're using infrared spectroscopy because we can get the native uh, chemistry directly from the recorded data. So initially we've been able to not only label particular molecules with the MEMFLUX instrument, but track them over time with nanometer scale precision. So the resolution is about two nanometers and in three dimensions we can track individual molecules, not only where they are, and how many there are, but also how they function. We've been able to obtain much higher resolution images than have ever been recorded. This center and its achievements have the potential to not only advance our fundamental understanding and how we look at cells, but also how we use them to do different sorts of experiments that affect a whole range of biomedical science. I don't think QCB would have been possible had we not been able to bring teams together from, of course, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Stockholm, Groningen, and Germany. And this has become a great worldwide collaboration, and in particular because we work with computers, the same scientists can work together all across the world on one specific problem. But in practice as a scientist, there are a few things that are as fulfilling and pleasant as sitting on the screen, toying around with data and looking at something and realizing that I'm understanding something of biology from this data. And then we figured that there are already tools available for the broader uh, audience to do this, Minecraft. So we're collaborating with groups, developing a super, super simplified models where say K12 or even me can sit on the screen, play around with these cells and then understand given these building blocks, what will that mean for the cell? And can I at least on a conceptual level understand all the building blocks of a cell and how that creates biological function. And I think that's gonna be awesome. I really hope that kids who are out there playing with this Minecraft game, that they get excited about, uh, you know, learning more about cells, but also just kind of uh, realizing that they can participate in science. And we also really want to be sure that these opportunities are available to everyone with specific um, focus on uh, historically marginalized groups and making sure that they have a clear role in this um, endeavor. And so as such, we have partnerships with uh, several minority serving institutions. And I think I'm just really excited to see what these students do when they leave us and they go on into their careers. I think that they have a really unique uh, type of training that will allow them to do, um, to do very interesting things. So I, I think I'm most excited to sort of see where our trainees go from here. My big dream is I'm gonna walk into my doctor's office and there's gonna be a 3D model of me and he's gonna put up the latest re test results or, or my medical checkup 
and then we will have a discussion about, well, that looks good, that could be better, uh, what's going on? And I think in general, what I hope is this will make knowing about cells and how they function much more accessible to the public. That's gonna make them smarter and, more, and able to understand more easily what's going on.